How are we doing, everybody? And welcome back to The Catalyst, where we break down all things bullish in the crypto markets. Markets are bouncing back a bit today. Bitcoin seeing some major resistance. Let's check this out. Seeing some major resistance, actually, right at like the 50K mark. Um, we have been kind of testing and trying to break through this several times. So this previous support line actually has flipped a bit into some resistance. Uh, so I'm, what I'm expecting is actually this previous resistance line to act as some support um, and I guess you know depending how you draw the angle you can see that it already kind of has been uh, we have this kind of descending pattern here uh, finding some support on that what I'm here to talk about it today is actually um, Chainlink. Um, Chainlink is one of my favorite projects uh, you see here we were entering kind of this wedge pattern we were about to break out of it at, at one point uh, we were starting to squeeze into it and we broke to the downside obviously this moment here is when the market completely tanked and everything like that chain link at the moment is up about five percent on the day and it seems like we're finding really solid support at the 19 or so dollar mark uh, on this fib level the point uh, 382 um, what I kind of expect here is potentially some consolidation in here, but what I will say is it is a, you know, really strong crypto asset. And I think it is one that is going to excel, uh, but it is a slow burn. Uh, it takes a while for it to get going. Uh, you can see, you know, even going back here, there's big periods of consolidation. Uh, so let's measure this one here. So if we go from here to here, you know, you're talking... 118 days uh so what is that four months um uh, and i'm what i'm thinking what we're seeing here is this is actually an entire period of consolidation uh so let's check this out so if we go here here 100 200 days almost um that we've been bouncing between 19 and about 35 dollars uh with that being said i think we are primed to kind of burst here uh, in the not so distant future. So we went from prices of $10 down here or even as low as six up to 50. So we were seeing about an eight to a 10 X gain. Um, I don't necessarily see that happening right away, uh, but over the next two months, it could certainly, uh, you know, we could see some, at least I think a five, five X gain wouldn't be too crazy. So let's take a look and see, um, what we would be kind of seeing if we saw like gains like that. People are calling for chain link to hit over 200. Uh, so 5x gain would be something like this at the $115 mark. Um, and I think that's, you know, within reason, actually. Um, how long in the future? I'm not sure. Uh, but I think it's definitely playing out and lining up to be something like that. So assuming you know, this is all kind of hinging on the idea that the market is going through a consolidation period right now, and we're going to see a double top in the next few months. Uh, with that being said, Chainlink being an altcoin will kind of linger behind that. So we actually have a few extra months besides Bitcoin uh, to continue to scale up uh, and get some gains here. Uh, so we could see a $100 Chainlink, um, you know, before the end of 2022, possibly, assuming the market kind of plays out how people ex are expecting to. Um, with that being said, obviously that's kind of um, some dangerous things to you know, follow because the market never plays out as people expect. It's going to do something completely different uh, and a little bit crazier. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's gonna go uh, you know, necessarily down, but what that could mean is the gains are very different than what people are expecting. They could be double what people are expecting or they could be half. Um, so there's a lot of range for potential outcomes, but I think Chainlink is a solid buy right now. Look at the RSI. We are dipping our toes super low. We're in like the 30 range. Last time we were this low um, was when Chainlink was about 13. Uh, so we are, you know, about 50% higher than that right now. Uh, but that also means we could easily, you know, see similar gains that we did from 13 um, you know, up to, I believe we hit as high as 35. Uh, so let's check out what those gains might be like. 150% uh, gains over the course of about a month. Um, so if we were to see something like that, again, that would actually be a pretty good target, I think, because that's gonna put us right in this range, about to test some previous all-time highs. 
um, it would certainly, you know, be a trigger to kind of pull back and then retest this major resistance at 35. So I'm expecting us to make some gains in that in that range. Um, you know, so something up in here, maybe on the cusp of breaking an all time high. But as soon as we do that, I would expect a pullback. Um, so what we need first, though, is to find some bigger support here uh, off of this bounce off of it and then proceed to then get back flip this back into some support possibly or even you know just turn this 34 or 35 dollar mark into some support as well so that is chain link for you guys um i'm ultimately bullish this chain link for me is more of a longer term hold anyways uh, but i think there's some room for some gains in the short term especially off the rsi here and we should find some nice support here uh off this fib level and hopefully bounce back in get a golden cross on our moving average and kind of go from there so we'll keep you guys updated as we go here but otherwise we'll catch you on the next one peace